I am Ashley Messing Kennedy, and I am from Bad Axe, Michigan. And I am the third, my husband and I are third generation on my family's dairy farm. I work with my parents, Greg and Shelly Messing. And I usually am the herds person, but right now I'm on bed rest because I'm expecting our first child in hopefully January. Um, we milk about 240 cows here on four Lily A4 robots. And if you don't know what those are, they're automated milkers. We have a mixed herd of Jerseys and Holsteins. Um, this site was bought by my grandparents and we've been here since the 1960s. And our newest addition to the farm actually was an automated calf feeding barn where we feed 60 calves on automated feeders four or more times a day. The labor issue was the reason why we put in the robots in the first place. Um, a little over two years ago, we just struggled finding enough people. Out of our 14 milking shifts a week, my mom and I were physically milking 10 or more of them because it just was so difficult to find dependable, trustworthy people that you know, didn't have other personal issues and it just was a simple decision for us. When we sat down and figured out the numbers between the savings and labor, workman's comp, and taxes, the robots totally paid for themselves. And they fully made sense for us, in addition to just the fact that we don't have to be standing in a parlor 10 or more shifts a week. Labor is getting harder and harder to come by, especially on a small to medium-sized farm. We can't employ the top of the line people because they want you know 60 80 hours a week and we can't give that to a person here we just can't feasibly do that at our size but we need people who are dependable and can show up you know two shifts a day maybe if that's what they want to milk so for us the robotics um, whether it be even on the calf feeding end and on the milking end have completely saved us so much money so much stress we actually enjoy being out on the farm now whereas before you know when you're 12 hours a day in a milking parlor and then you have other duties to do it's easy to work a 16 or an 18 hour day we added the we just finished the robotic calf feeding barn this past november so in a couple of months, well actually next month now, we'll be in it for a year. And we did this for several, for several reasons. Um, before, our herd has gotten so much larger just because we do a really good job of keeping our animals around and you know having really healthy, robust animals. So our death loss is minimal, which means that we have so many more calves than what we had room for when we had originally built our calf barns 15 years ago, 12, 15 years ago. And so we had literally just completely outgrown our current facilities, which is a wonderful problem to have. So we knew that we needed a barn. And when it came down to it, the amount, I'm going to go back to the labor thing again, the amount of labor that we had into raising calves manually with bottles and pails was astronomical. It was so much time and so much effort put in. So we started looking at alternatives and the robotic feeders were the number one alternative. And in addition to the labor savings, we can raise more calves with the same amount or less labor than what we had in our old barns. But we have healthier, even healthier calves than we had before. We have bigger calves and we have calves that just get such a great start in life that for us, it's, it was a no-brainer.